Hey everybody, this is Steve Gamash with another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And what we have is the Yusaku Autogami R Blue Number no. 2 Kiri Cleaver 180mm knife. So this is a pretty unique knife shape as you can see, and it's a beast. <laughs> it's got some weight to it. So the um, way these are constructed, it's kind of old school material. So this has Autogami R Blue Paper Number no. 2 Reactive High Carbon Steel. He treats about 62 Rockwell on that core steel typically. And what they do is they put a soft iron reactive cladding on either side of that hard core cutting edge steel. So the cladding is reactive. It does have a kind of a Nishiji fairly smooth finish with a protective what's known as blacksmith finish known as kuduuchi or KU and then you've got kind of a sandblasted grind uh, blade road if you will down towards the edge where the grind goes down towards the edge and um, so again this is an all uh, reactive blade there's no stainless or semi stainless layers anywhere on it so treat it appropriately weight and dimensions will vary a little bit from knife to knife the way these are hammered out but this one is 273 grams or 9.6 ounces so it's a lot of blade you can see it's tall and it's long and it has this uh, kind of bunka almost style giant <laughs> bunka tip on it so that's why they call it a kitty cleaver uh, the uh, let's see, edge length on this one is about 182 millimeters or 7.2 inches. The, the overall length is about 13.1 inches. And uh, spine thickness, they're not super thick. It's coming out of the handle. It, I measured about 3.3 right here thickness wise and then about 2.8 halfway down. And this knife's very tall so it's going to retain that thickness all the way down when you hit the corner of the tip here. Um, and then you can see the grind. So it doesn't get super skinny at the edge because there's not a big tall grind on this. And here's the, or at the tip I meant back there, and here's the edge. So this thing's going to, you know, beef up pretty quick on thickness right behind that grind there. The blade height is, I got about 73 millimeters at the back and about 74 millimeters halfway down. And you've got that long tip on there. Uh, the handle is what they call octagonal blue urushi, and it's got a very interesting finish to it that's got all kinds of iridescent kind of purples and lavenders and different hues, so it's really neat looking handle. Circumference is about 74 millimeters where I normally measure them, about right there. Obviously this one's got a pretty long neck onto it, very tall blade. Uh, there's a good spot for a pinch grip right there if you want to put it in there um, and then pinch it. And, you know, some people are going to do different things with these depending on how they like to use them. Some people even will hold them up here a little higher depending on what, you know, whatever you want to do with the knife. But you've got lots and lots of clearance there. The, um, if you need to do, you know, really detailed work, you could even grip it up here for some things. But um, balance point, as you might expect, is going to be pretty far forward. So there's your balance point. So obviously my pinch grip is going to be behind that, and I do have some meat. So the whole idea of this blade is you got it's a cleaver. You got some weight there, and you've got some power behind your, what you're going to do with the knife. So the fit and finish is nicely done on these. These are very well crafted, nice straight blades, clean grinds. Here's your beauty shot. They've got hand chiseled or hand engraved kanji on the right side of the blade as you'd be using it. The kanji was punched or chiseled after the KU finish was put on, so you can see the steel behind there, so it's very nicely uh, executed. You can run your finger and feel that. You've got a smooth kind of uh, almost Nishiji finish with a little bit of hammer texture to it. Just kind of, you can kind of see it's somebody doing some work there on that. And here's the left side of the blade. You've got some embossed kanji here. Again, Nishiji, a little bit of a Nishiji kind of finish with the Kuduchi over top of that, which is kind of fairly smooth, almost a little shiny. And then you got your sandblasted blade grind and the edge steel peeking out there. They have relieved a little bit of the corners on the spine and also did a really nice job on the choil, so it's very comfortable out of the box. Edge, I'll give it maybe 5, 6 out of 10. So this is just well-crafted blades. And here is your cutting board profile. So it's going to be low all the way around, and that's what it looks like. This particular one's got a little bit of a bump kind of right in here, but you could smooth that out slightly as you use the knife and, and sharpen it. 
So it's definitely not going to be a rocker. I mean, that's not what it's for. You could do awesome tip drops with this thing. You can definitely have a usable tip there. Uh, push pull cuts, glide cuts, chopping. It's not going to be a rocker, though. That's not the intended use of this shape of a blade. So, but just a really interesting knife that uh, if you want to try something out that's, you know, different and unique, I guess that's the same thing, right? Um, and just cool, interesting shape to it uh, with some weight behind it. It's an interesting knife. So this is the Yusaku Autogami R Blue Number no. 2 Kiri Cleaver 180 millimeter knife.